all right hello again so this is the second part of our series of creating invoicing system in google sheets so previous part and the introduction you can find in the description of this video so uh, in the previous part i forgot to add the invoice number to this formatted number so what i need to do in this formula i need to add the text then the actual value so in our case it's b2 and then the format like number format with leading zeros will be applied to this number so yeah so now we see that here is the first invoice if we change it it dynamically applies to this invoice number so whenever we will put here it will add leading zeros and the format will be the same okay let's continue working on this document so we need to create one more tab and let's call it invoice preview All right so basically this invoice preview will show all the data combined in one place and it will look like a invoice itself okay so on the top of this we'll put the logo so uh, let's clear it here so what we'll do is to write image then we'll select the URL from our settings tab and then apply the setting we'll put the three all right so we can see that our image was applied here um, let's add some formatting so to be on the center all right next let's put the word invoice here so every invoice should include the invoice word in it and next to next to logo we'll have invoice number okay and date issued good and here we'll simply add values from invoice data so invoice number will be this one and the issue date is our issue date like this oh by the way we have specified the date format so basically what we need to do is to apply this format to our actual date so again we'll write text then we have our date and after that we need to apply the format itself so in our case it will be this value and now we can see that it has changed so basically we can do this by formatting the uh, number from the menu but I like this approach more because it's more flexible and especially when this file is shared so everybody will see like the same format when it when it is changed in one place that's why i love this uh, this way to do of doing things okay now let's add some more styling let's build this and this part okay this one let's do this bigger like 18 all right some something like this now let's continue and let's add our company details bill from and basically what we'll do here we'll just simply um, apply the settings apply the values from our settings so company my company name so like my company now let's add the company number so we'll write simple text company num number and then let's put the end sign and apply our company number okay here we'll have our VAT number 
good. And again, let's apply this VAT number. Okay, now we have an address. Let's uh, next let's add the postal code and the city. And uh, okay, we'll separate by comma and city like this. And let's add country. Okay, good. One more thing. Actually, we'll two more things. It's like email and the phone number. Yeah, like this. This is the information about our company. Okay, so that's it for this video. In the next video, we will add the customer company information in the invoice and it will be applied dynamically whenever we change it in our invoice data tab. So stay tuned. And if you like this video, click the like button. Also write your comments, questions in the comment section below. Thank you for watching. See ya.